Hi everybody, welcome back. Well, I'm still on location out here in Savannah. I've got one more week of filming on the movie that I'm currently working on. Um, having a great time. It's been a really hot here and really humid. It's been a rough shoot the last three weeks. Uh, but we're almost through. We have four more days. And then we wrap out and go back home. But I'll tell you, I've been, everybody has been just amazing on this movie. You know, everybody from the producers to the director, um, to the, you know, the DP, the production designer, prop master, the gaffer, everybody. It's just the camera assistants. The guys, everybody's been great and so much fun. I feel like I've really just made a new family. And um, you know, we have one more week and uh, it's going to be tough, but uh, we'll get through it. Anyway, moving on from all that. <clears throat> so a while back, <clears throat> a friend of mine, Sarah, who's in the film industry as well, sent me a book, uh, Treasury of Top Secret Recipes. And I was going through it thinking, what can I make tonight? And then I came across, this is a great book, by the way. It's very informative. It's even got, like, blueprints of actually how to, like, assemble things. It's really cool. You should check it out. Um, yeah, so I, uh, I happen to be going through it today, and I'm like, look at that. They have the Taco Bell and Chorito. They even have, like, it, you know, it even tells you, I, you know, here's a diagram of actually how to build it. And I just looked at it, and I was really amazed that, how very few ingredients they actually have in this. You know, because when we make tacos at home, I'm sure everybody's dumping in like all the seasoning packets and who knows how many spices are in that. This only has a few. I was really shocked. This only is like a quarter teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of chili powder, a half tablespoon of dry minced onions, and a quarter, uh, a quarter onion diced. The rest is just like pretty straightforward, refried beans. Um, hamburger meat that you brown up like you do it anything else and you just put some enchilada sauce on it and melt some cheese on it and there you go and um, that'd be super easy barely an inconvenience and uh, so we're gonna get started I'm gonna do it right now here we go all right everybody this is giving me a simple recipe so what we got here is we've got a pound of ground beef uh, the olives are optional uh, I'll talk about that later um, all I've got is some seasoning salt, boom, seasoning salt, some chopped onions, um, the dry little dry onions, and some chili powder, and I've got them right here, and I'll leave the uh, description of the, uh, the amounts, and i got some onion, tortillas, we got some enchilada sauce, we got some refried beans, I actually got the Taco Bell one, I actually was like, wow, look at that, so let's get started. Alright, so I took off my spy grip shirt. Put on my Taco Bell shirt. Let's get into this. All right, first thing, ground beef. Put that in there. Start getting that browned up. Taco Bell, your ghetto Taco Bell. Yeah, I'm just surprised. There's so, so very few ingredients to this. I love Taco Bell. I've been eating it like since I was like knee high to a grasshopper. I mean, forever. You know, I can't even remember. I can't even. Imagine life without Taco Bell. Taco's done like a staple with me for like forever. I mean, who doesn't like the Burrito Supreme, you know? That's like, what is that, number three on the menu? Oh, I know, it's a sad time. I'm sure you guys have heard recently that once again, Taco Bell is, is uh, killing some of their uh, recipe again. Especially the Mexican pizza, which I'm very sad to hear because I love that. It's one of my favorites. And But I'm going to start, I guess I'll do a video on that at some point on how to make them. They're actually not that hard. It's a little time consuming. Um, it's all frying and baking, but, you know, we'll get through it. It'll be alright. Anyway, we're going to brown this meat, and then, uh, move on to the next thing. Alright. The meat's all done. Got my beans. Got my beans heating up in a pan. I'm going to drain this real quick. I didn't use 80-20 on this. This is like 7% um, fat in a, I like lean beef. So yeah, we'll turn that off. Let that drain for a second. Then, back 
in here. We are going to add our seasoning back in now. And still hot. Clean kitchen is a happy, efficient kitchen. Alright, that's done. Alright. Let's set that off to the side for a minute. See if it's all done. Beans right now. See how our beans are doing. Beans, beans, beans. That'll make a couple more minutes, and then we'll be ready to go. Alright, let's see how our beans are doing here. Almost ready. Almost. Oh, this is going to be so good. I can already tell. That looks delicious. That's my trademark saying. There you go. Super easy, barely an inconvenience. There we go. Alright. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take, well that's like finishing up, let me turn that down a little bit. I'm going to take my tortilla, and so I'm going to put the microwave for like 15 seconds. Let that get a little bit more pliable. Alright, I'm going to open up my enchilada sauce. Tortilla. It's all like, yeah, I'm good to go now. All right. Tortilla in the bowl. Take a little of your, your meat. Just put a little on there. All right. Should be good. For that. We're going to take some of our onions, sprinkle some on. I know this is making you hungry. I know it is. Now, get that up there. Take the beans. Ridiculously easy. Now, take it and um, let's see what do I need here. Give me a little spoon. I could take a little bit of the enchilada sauce. A little bit. Just a little bit. Just drizzle on there. Give us a little bit more flavor. Now, take it, wrap it up. Spin it, obviously. There you go. A little bit more enchilada sauce. this up. That's what I do with my regular enchiladas. I love enchilada sauce. So good. One more. And there you go. Let's get my cheese. I probably forgot to add the cheese <laughs> in the original, uh, in the beginning there because the stripping is it was getting warm and I like my cheese really cold. Now, look at that. That's bare bones right there. Does that look amazing? 
Looks great, huh? Put some cheese on there. What am I using? I'm using sharp cheddar on this. And you notice I didn't heat up the enchilada sauce because I want to throw it in the microwave so everything can melt. So I figure we'll just do double duty right there. Yeah, it's a duty. I know. There you go. All right. That's that. We're just cooking along here. Take this microwave. And we'll do that for like 45 seconds. Um, see you in 45 seconds. Well, there you go, guys. Super simple. Super easy, barely an inconvenience. I mean, anybody can make it. Just brown your meat, add some, add some beans to it, add a little seasoning to it, dump some enchilada sauce on there, melt some cheese, and man, you're eating. It doesn't take long at all. All right, let's give this a shot. All right. Oh, it's still hot. Mmm. Delicious. This is actually everything you would expect it to be. It's just hot and creamy and meaty. It's a, it tastes like a burrito. It tastes like a wet burrito. It's delicious. The enchilada. Try this, please. Try this recipe. Um, it's really fast and super easy. Um, mm, that's so good. Oh anyway. Hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a like. Um, share it with all your friends. Like all your friends. <laughs> and uh, we'll see you soon. Take care. Good night.